Hello. Back again. Been making bloody candles all week, so I'm in need of some oh, shit. <laughs> some stupidity, apparently. I'm now in need of some soap therapy. It's 2.30 in the morning, and I just had to make soap. I just didn't have a choice. It's just, just calling to me. So for no other reason other than I needed to make soap. Just it's funny how that happens. If I don't soap for a couple of days, I just miss it so terribly. I was trying not to make any more. I've got a um <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. Um I've got a microphone coming this week, hopefully. Well it should come this week. It bloody better come this week. Um so I was putting off making any um videos until that came. But <laughs> here I am. I just had the need. If you are a soaper, you know what I'm talking about. If you're not and you begin to soak, you will understand. It's a bit of a, um, it's an addiction, but it's like, like I've said before, <laughs> how cool is my cup? <laughs> it's a zen thing. Like I just enjoy making soap. It just takes me to my happy place. So when I don't do it for a while, I think I just get a little agitated and just need to do it. And considering how horribly wrong all my candles went today, oh, I was just having one of those days. I need something that will probably go horribly wrong. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I am making lavender, cucumber, sage. This is a new one for me. Um, still on the search for lavender that I don't hate. Now, this one is not actually bad. It's um, It's got lavender notes, but it's definitely got the cucumber. I don't know. I think I kind of know. I've had sage smudge sticks before, so I'm not really up on what sage smells like, but it smells green, if that makes any sense at all. But yeah, no, it's quite it's quite fresh. So it's not a real sickly floral like lavender tends to be, for me anyway. So I am and looking forward to soaping with this. I have got a plan <laughs> for a change. Whether or not things go to plan is a whole different kettle of fish. I am going to... No, oh, bugger it. I'm going to put it in. Why not? You yeah, never know until you try these things. But yeah, we'll see how it goes in first instead of last. Give that a whirl. I still haven't drilled holes in my bloody stick blender yet. I'll get around to that one day. Okay, so what I'm planning on doing for yourself, I'll tell you what I'm planning on doing, you can decide whether I'll turn the video off. <laughs> you might go, no, I don't want to watch that shit. All right, so I've got my hanger tool already sitting in my mould. Hanger tool is very simple. Thing. You can buy proper ones. I like this. It's made out of electrical wire. Um, it's meant for moving around in your mould, right? In. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in here and leave it in here and I'm going to pour the soap in with it in there. And then once I've got, I'm going to do a purple layer, a green layer, a pale green layer and the rest white. And then I'm going to pull this up through the soap. Then I'm going to push it down and then I'm going to pull it up on the side. So hopefully that will pull two lines up through the soap. I don't know. I have done it before and it kind of worked if I had the it soaps over there. I mean, it would only take me a second to walk over there and show you, but I should have thought about that before. I have tried it before and it looked kind of nice. So I'm trying it again, but in a little different way. So. So we'll see how that works out. Oh, it actually is quite fresh. It's very cucumbery. I, I do like it. So 
and that's saying a lot because it's lavender and you know I don't like lavender. All right, so I'm using new micas. As you can see, they're still in their packets. I haven't put them in little thingies yet. Um, I've got Melon Fizzer, which is the green. Uh, it's a more of a pastel green, or I thought it was, and then I've mixed it up and it's, I don't know if you can see that, it's a very nice colour. Um, and I mixed up the uh, what I got, grape soda, which is a purple, but yeah, you can see, see in, to me looking on the laptop there, it looks blue. It has a blue sheen to it which I thought was a little too blue for a lavender soap. So I've thrown in a bit of eminence, which is like the ultimately awesomest purple in the entire world, I'm sure. Uh, there we go. Look at that. Just trying to get it in the light. Yeah, it's my favorite purple. I never run out of that. I've always got a spare. <laughs> so I've added, so I've got about half and half of the grape soda and eminence in that. So it's got, it'll have probably a little bit of blue in it. But, um, yeah, it's still fairly purple. Here's my cat. Come to say that he loves me again. <laughs> Do you love me? Oi, Ozzy. Oi. Can I see you? Oh, there he is. He's so cute. He's got the shits. I um, deep lead them. Put the drops on the back of their necks. And he goes off his head out and gets the shits. Runs around like a lunatic for a couple of hours. And then he's alright, so... He doesn't like it. The other one, he doesn't care. He's sitting over there asleep. But he's old, so, you know, he's used to it. He knows he gets rid of his food. <laughs> All right, so let's see how much of a disaster we can have this time. How much panic soaping shall we do today? <laughs> I, um, as you will have seen before, I poured in goat's milk. I also have a tablespoon of kale and clay. That's a tablespoon to a thousand grams of oils, which I find is enough. Um, you can put more in if you want to. You can put in way more if you want to, which I still am getting around to doing a nice clay soap. But yeah, I do a tablespoon. Oh, let's put lots of bubbles in the soap. Woohoo! <laughs> looking good it's see the, the, this is the difference between smelling a fragrance in a bottle and actually soaping with it which I'll leave you in there for now is I am now getting a lot more lavender notes now that it's in the soap so yeah that's emulsified alrighty let's do some colors Mmm, I'm not in seat. I never know how much I need. I say this every single time, don't I? Every single time. I don't know how much I need. I'm just winging it. Good Lord. And I don't need... How much is that actually? I don't know because there's nothing on those. Apparently it wasn't etched in them. It was only written on them. All right, now this is going to need... So does that ship. Titanium dioxide. Nice fresh made today. That one's going to need some as well. Oof. Oh, sorry. Sorry, soap. I did not have to put bubbles in you. What is going on there? Oh, that's really loose. Oh. Might need a new one soon. And we're just going to put a little smidgeroo of green in there. Or maybe a little bit more than that. Yeah, oh, that's a nice pale cucumbery colour. Alright, and then this one. Going to be green. That one's kind of representative of the cucumber. This one, I think, is sage. Well, I don't know. I'm just assuming sage is a dark green. I actually have no idea whatsoever. Oh, 
and we'll put a smidge more in there. Alrighty. Yep, that's laziness for you. Yeah, all right, okay. Got too many things going on in one spot here. I know that this will cover any green that's in there. Well, this will be a bubbly soap, won't it? I want to keep a little bit for the top, if I can. All right, that's it. There. Optimus Prime helping me out. He is he's a good man. Well, he's not a man at all, really. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Oh, look at all the mess. Look at all the mess. Oh, all the mess. Woo. Clean bench, no longer clean. Okie dokie. I do not mind. All right. It's not oh, far out. <laughs> In one night, how many times have you seen me soap without a friggin' thing that I don't even know? Oh, what is wrong with my brain? An apron. And then the one night I actually soap without one. What happens? Where are my little ones? Sorry, guys. You go over there. Just messy everywhere here. Okay, so first in is the purple. It's nice, it's a nice consistency actually. Oh, this jacket is driving me mental. Hang on two seconds. These bloody sleeves will not stay up. Okay, so you get a real crease. The only thing wrong with the electrical wire is, as you can see, it's not exactly straight. And it won't ever be straight because it's just not solid at all. People that use coat hangers, you can use anything, anything that you can make solid, you can use really. I, the only thing I would suggest not using is timber. <laughs> uh, a lot of people don't know this, but raw soap will rot timber. So you have to be careful when using it. So that's why you don't see it. That actually is a good tip for you. I will tell you in just a second. And it's raining again. Yay. Good if that means no more bath bombs. I love it when it rains because it's a good excuse to not go for a walk and not make bath bombs. Okay, um, these molds for the timber if you buy these um put whatever oh my god i'm not going to tell you because i just don't remember holy my brain i swear i've got alzheimer's that's it that's it i'm old now i can't remember anything <laughs> um you know the glossy stuff that's see-through there you go yeah cover your molds with that <laughs> so i don't i don't know it's quarter to three, people. My brain's not working, okay? This is a really nice colour, I must say. Now, that one is not wide enough, so I'm going to use a wider one. Now, remember I've said this before. If you don't want one layer to go through the next, you pour onto a spatula. And this is so thick, it probably won't anyway. Oh, that's a little ricey. Hmm, interesting. All right. The smell is nice. I like it. I'm pretty happy. This is one that I would actually buy again. The first lavender that I would buy again. What do you know? So I can no longer say that I hate lavender. Because I like this one. All right, two down. Oh, it's thickened up. Imagine that white over there is pretty thick too. All righty, in this one, uh, I think I'll 
going to darken it a bit, but I don't think I will. Yeah, see, this is thick enough now that I don't have to worry about pouring onto the um, spatula because it's not going to break through. So this is good. Exactly what I need. So that moved a little faster than I was hoping. I'm not stressing out because I've stressed out enough today. Oh, they are. Candles will be the death of me. I swear, they really will. They're just. <sighs> I suppose the payoff is, I mean, once you've got it all sorted, they're lovely. They really are. But the effort involved in candles as opposed to soap, I swear, is just so much more. Maybe it's because I did I started soap first rather than candles. And you know, I don't do normal candles. Well I do, but but you know, I'd like to do um can Sunday candles, which is not candles made on Sunday. <laughs> but you know, ones that look like milkshakes or Sundays. Yeah, that's what I like to make, so and they're not the easiest thing on the planet to do. But yeah, I had no piping bags and didn't realise until after I started. And then I tried to use a sandwich bag and that was just a freaking fail. And oh, it just never, it just, it was one thing after another today. And I just, in the ship, in the end, I got shits and turned the wax off and went and watched Westworld and The Block. Which Westworld was awesome, by the way. If you like sci fi and you like westerns, you will like it. I, um, the original movie back, I don't even know how old I was, I was only little, had um, Yul Brynner in it, who's one of my favourite actors when I was growing up. So, even back then, see, I was, I was loving Asians. <laughs> I think he's Asian, he's Asian, isn't he? I don't know, he's bald. Not that, <laughs> not that that one means anything to the other, but he's bald. But, you know, yeah, now I was a big Western fan when I was a kid. I used to love, like, Charlie Bronson and Clint Eastwood and, you know, um, The Magnificent Seven. I loved that movie. And then I watched the new one the other day, and I loved that too. That was brilliant. Chris Pratt, seriously, that guy's hot. He can be a cowboy. He can be, he can be whatever. Star-Lord. I don't care. He's just hot and funny. Funnies always make the guy better looking, if you ask me. I think a sense of humour makes anyone better looking, but mm. that's just my personal opinion. And honestly, the sexiest thing on the planet is intelligence. Now I'm not saying that Stephen Hawking is sexy, but man, what would it be like to sit down and have a conversation with him? Rather robotic, I imagine. It was just, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's just like a freaking comedy of errors in this house today. Seriously. All right. So. Let's see how that goes. All right. Oh, that's warm. Wow. That's going to gel all on its little lonesome. Yeah, get off of me. Right, so that was the line up through the middle. Now what I was hoping to do was pull one up the side as well. So we'll see what happens. It may just end up being just a layered soap, which is fine if it does. You know, I don't have a problem with that either. But if it's got something a little nifty in it, that's okay too. Ugh, I got ugh everywhere. Ookies everywhere. Is that full enough? I need some smell meats. Oh, I need a drink. I'm gonna have a, not an alcoholic drink, just a drink drink. I don't drink. Well, in saying that, I don't drink like normal people drink. I may have a singular drink or two, but that's it. I don't get drunk ever because I'm weird. Mm -mm. No, I have 
something that people think is stupid that stops me from drinking. It's called emetophobia. I think I may have mentioned it before. Oh, hello, cat. Um, emetophobia is a fear of vomit. And so I, as I have said before, the difference between a fear and a phobia is a fear is something you are scared of, like I'm scared of heights because it just makes my tummy feel funny when I'm up high, you know, like in on balconies and on 15th floors and such. That makes my stomach feel a bit blur, but that's just it's just a fear, it's not a phobia. But a phobia is something that controls your life. So I have emetophobia and claustrophobia. So I have a fear of vomit and a fear of small places. So emetophobia is just why I don't drink, why I'm really careful about the things that I eat because I'm terrified that it's going to, you know, really be off and make me sick. And yeah, like I won't, if we're out, we're out at the tavern, which is a pub. I don't know what that is in foreign language. <laughs> um, I won't give drunk people a lift home because I'm scared that they will vomit in my car. I will not catch the courtesy bus in case someone vomits on it, which happens. Um, so yeah, it, it rules my life. Which annoys me. But at the same time, you know. It's just who I am. I like that. I was just messing about. Hmm. I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> wow. I'm really in the good books. Look at this. Hello. He do me. He doesn't hate me. Okay, so what I should have done though, I want to use these colours because I think these colours will look lovely on the top. So I'm just going to do it anyway, even though that was really cool. I'm just going to just make a mess. This is a really pretty colour, this grape soda. I like it a lot. Thank you, Amanda. In case she watches this one. <laughs> Although I'm sure she watched the first one and went, no, I don't want to watch your shoes anymore. They were the same colour, they just were different strengths. Oh, I love my mica. It's so nice. So I don't know how anyone ever uses any other colourants other than micas because they're just so pretty. Oh yeah. Now what am I going to do? No, seriously, what am I going to do? Jeez, I wish I could hear you guys. So I need to do this live, don't I? <laughs> but then I'd have to read comments and soak at the same time. And I have a hard enough time soaking as it is. Just, you know. What? I don't know what to do now. <laughs> seriously. Just leave it like that. I don't want to do anything to it because I don't want to mess it up. Oh, just leave it. It'll be interesting to see what it looks like, hey? Something new, something I've never ever done before. There you go. Alrighty, well that is it. I will bring you back for the cutting. I imagine I will probably still be awake. That'll be what, it's three now, so seven o'clock-ish. I might have to use the, the soap. Yeah, that's soap. Soap on me boob. Right, oh, no, whatever. Could be worse. I'm sure. Um, yeah, at least I've figured out that I don't need to turn both the switches and that light, and it's not quite as bright this time. Sorry about that. I'm still, I'll get the hang of it, and we'll end up with some nice videos at some point. <laughs> you just have to bear with me until then. Alright, so there you go. That's it. I won't come up any closer because I've turned autofocus off. Ooh, it's a bit runny. Not the, the hair. It's one of my hairs. And it's all in the pigtail and everything. 
All right. See you later. Hi, kids. I'm back. Look, look, and that's even promising. Look, we've got a bit of a line. Not much of one, but it's something happening. <laughs> um, I waited a little long to cut this. I didn't come back at what I say it was going to be seven o'clock this morning. Now I went to bed instead, and it's now three o'clock in the afternoon, and I've only just sort of woken up and yes, having my cuppa. Which, if you that is not coffee or tea, <laughs> no, that's a Milo. That's because I'm an Aussie and I like Milo and I don't like tea or coffee. All right, so let's get the show on the road and see what we've got in here. Whee! Now it's discolored slightly, I think. <laughs> tiny little line seriously <laughs> oh okay I won't turn it around because I just see it on the next one um I sort of I'm out of room here I'll do it that way there you go look it's kind of what I was hoping to achieve but I sort of wanted them to go up even further yeah sort of more like this one there you go, that's better. Like I said, it was probably a little thick. <laughs> like me. <laughs> you can see it gelled, but the good thing is that by the looks of it, it's gelled all the way. So, yeah. What would have been good, I reckon, is if you could get, so you can see where I've dragged it down here. I'll come up a bit closer. It would be good if you could pull this first layer up like that and then somehow get into the green layer and just pull that up without disturbing the purple but I don't think you could I don't know it'd have to be a way to do it but I'm pretty stoked because it's different I mean you don't see soap that looks like this maybe there's a reason maybe it's because it looks like crap but <laughs> I think it's cool I think it looks like I don't know little tendrils rising up off steam or I don't know something and the top looks really nice, just on the individual slices now. So I was a bit, I was a bit iffy about that, but now I like it. So. And the smell, well, the smell is, yeah, it still, it still doesn't have like really strong lavender notes. So that's a good thing. It's just, I don't know, it's just, I, I can't even describe it. It's a weird smell. Alrighty, last two. Let's see if I can not cut that. Oh, yeah, I was stoked. Got up and my candle glass has arrived. Woohoo! And my new tripod, which you're standing on. It's a little baby one. It's very cute. I'd show you, but the camera's on it, so. So there you go. That's it. That's that's something a little different. What do you reckon? I thought it was pretty pretty spiffy. All right. Well, that's it. I will see you on the next one. Probably today. I'm having a bit of a downer today, so soaping always makes me feel better. So that's probably what I will do. Even though I should be painting glassware now that it has arrived, I do have just. Little bit, oh, and there comes my cuppa. Woo! I do have a little bit to paint. Did you want to see them? I'll show you one. I got black. This is mine. You know me, I'm a sucker for black. If you want, to, if you don't want to see my candle glass, turn the video off now. Otherwise, don't say anything. And also, all you people who give me a thumbs down, could you tell me why that's really annoying? You know. It's Oh, it's a bit sexy. So these will not stay plain black. I will paint them. I um, do abstract colours on them that match. I have a set of colours that go with my set of scents. I use 11 different scents. And they all have individual colours. So yeah. So that's it. I've got white ones already. Now I get to do that. So I'm very happy that... 
I'm a bit disappointed because my market is on on Sunday and there's no way I have time to pour these and paint these and put the vinyl on them and put the stickers on them and all the other stuff that has to be done so these will have to be done next week all right I'm going to go yell at the cat now because he's on the table Boogie! Oi! Oh, he's just ignoring me so have a look he's a member of the cat oh, he thinks he should just be able to sit up on the table he's a naughty cat all right guys i will see you in the next video bye, <laughs> All right, bye.